Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we're now into the month of October, and where we start to look for these storms becomes a little bit more narrow. Closer to home, we're looking across the Western Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Western Atlantic. So we're not looking so far out into the Atlantic for these systems, and they really start to form along these old frontal boundaries as we head through the month of October. That becomes really the primary focus as we head towards the end of the month. But we're still watching Leslie. Remember, this one's just been hanging out across the middle of the Atlantic. It was a subtropical system. It basically dissipated or became a remnant low. It's come back as a subtropical system. And it happens. If these hang out long enough, they'll eventually they'll start to acquire some tropical characteristics. And that's what we have right now is Tropical Storm Leslie. And that's mainly because we're getting more and more of that convection closer to the center of the storm. So it's becoming more of a tropical system. So 33.2, 54.3. Top winds right now are at 60 miles an hour. Now, the thing with this one is, over the next several days, it will just tend to slowly drift down towards the south. So it's heading into some relatively warmer waters. Warmer waters, low wind shear should allow this system to basically strengthen over the next couple of days. But still, it's not heading anywhere. So eventually it heads back towards the north. This could become a hurricane in uh, the next couple of days, but as it heads to the north, it heads back over cooler waters. And then, at some point, this system will basically dissipate. So we'll keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.